The UNI men's basketball team has their planned non-conference slate of tough games at Wisconsin, Richmond, and Marshall. They'll host Green Bay on December 12th with more home games to be added soon. The Panthers bring back four players with starting experience. A.J. Green, Austin Fife, and Trey Burhau earned all-conference honors and started every game a season ago. And senior Taiwan Pickford started every game as a freshman and is finally as healthy as he's been since that season. Those four upperclassmen are responsible for setting the expectations for the team and setting the tone every day in practice. Two seniors and two juniors take on a much bigger leadership role this year. All four have all-conference honors during their time as Panthers. They lead a team that includes three sophomores that played as freshmen and nine players working to earn their first minutes for the purple and gold. We've got obviously a good group coming back with some, some great experience. Um, and guys that have, have won at a, at a high level by winning a conference championship last year. Uh, so obviously anytime you, you return a majority of your guys back, you, you are excited. But at the same time, we did have some, some, some major um, minutes and guys that produced at a high level that graduated that were in the early onsets of trying to see who can fill those roles. Six seniors graduating last year. Uh, I myself was trying to, it was, it was my first year back from an injury, so it was one of those things where uh, guys like Luke McDonald, Justin Dahl really were kind of my leaders running the offense because they had a year of experience on me in that spot. So I'm trying to take that experience now with guys like James Betts and Cole Henry and do what they taught me. UNI's big four returnees include three of the top rebounders and the three leading scores from last year's regular season conference champions. Last year's Larry Bird MVC Player of the Year, A.J. Green, led the way with 19.7 points per game and his teammates say he's even better this year. AJ's AJ. He's a different breed. He's always doing his stuff differently. So, I mean, he's, he's fun to see. He's doing good this year. Uh, he's learning more. He's taking more of a leadership role, communicating a little more, which is good to see. So, I mean, get his voice going. So, I mean, I've been having fun with him at practice, getting him riled up. So, it's been fun. It was great practicing against him because he made me better and he uh, got me ready for games like against West Virginia, South Carolina, games like that. He got me ready because you don't always see people like him. You don't practice against people like him. All over the country, there's not every team that got a guy like AJ. You know, he's a one of a kind, so he taught me a lot. As the four returning upperclassmen are pushing each other in practice and are ready to show their own improvement as players, they're also preparing a talented supporting cast. It's a test of the returners' leadership skills and how influential they are inside the program. Uh, having uh, me, AJ, Ty, and Trey, I think all four of us is a really worked on being those uh, four returners that played the most minutes and doing things like that to get these young guys and show them what it takes to win a conference championship. I just want to be more, you know, a, a vocal leader and being more aggressive for my team. So whatever it is to help my team out to come, on, come out on top with the win. And, and our older guys have done a great job to this point of, of bringing those young guys along. Um, you know, being basically assistant coaches themselves and trying to make sure that they're, they're going about their business the right way. And, and we are very excited about not only our returners, but our incoming guys and some guys that are going to have to play much bigger roles this year than they did a year ago. So, um, yeah, the, the, we always have, I, I believe, Coach Jake um, always has high expectations for our, for our team, for our program, um, and this year's no different. The expectations this year's UNI Panther team is aiming for include defending their regular season title and a postseason run. Specifically, a trip to the NCAA tournament, which would be the first appearance for all four upperclassmen. I want us to go to the tournament, you know. I don't know, we don't know if we missed that chance last year with COVID and everything, but you know, going to the dance has been one of my dreams, so I hope that we can accomplish that this year. 